Klaviyo versus Active Campaign. Which one is better? Hi, this is Andrew from Email Marketing NYC, and in today's video, I'll explain you which platform is better for you, Klaviyo or Active Campaign. The first question is, what kind of business do you have? Is it e-commerce? Is it service business? If you are e-commerce store owner, Klaviyo is the right choice for you. And this video will be oriented only for e-commerce business owners. And I'll show you the difference between Klaviyo and Active Campaign. I'm uh, official reseller for Active Campaign, and I'm like I strongly, strongly recommend this tool to everybody who like to all my customers. However, I do not recommend this for e-commerce business owner. Be Active Campaign is very powerful, but not for e-commerce. Clavio is they focus the, all their attentions only on e-commerce business owners and. Clive is good only for e-commerce store owners. If you want to use Clive or something else, it's useless. Today I'll show you 12 parts where I compare Apple to Apple, Active Campaign and Clive, and you will decide which one is better. But <laughs> as I said before, you will see that Clive is much better and more powerful tool for e-commerce. So let's start. <music> So first, let's see Active Campaign dashboard and how it looks and what it provides. So first, uh, it, this is a widget where it shows you what you need to complete, then how many active subscribers you have, uh, contact tr uh, contact trend if it's rising or like falling falling down. There are some news about Active Campaign in general. Then campaigns you send or you have in draft. Uh, the top contact uh, like interaction or you can use a score to see what the co top contact then you have you can see it manage templates from your dashboard then manage task if you have deals uh, active campaign works as a CRM as well then you have different pipelines so pipelines is uh, part of the CRM then interaction rate interaction trend and automation everything looks good and for some of you it might be very helpful or not helpful at all because i'm not sure what you can get from this for e-commerce i mean for me the active context number is important interaction rate is important interaction trend and maybe contact trend okay so now let's check clavio dashboard and what what information can you get from there so here we see total store revenue. So this is what we made in the last 30 days. Then we can see the percentage we made from emails in general. So as a business owner, let's say you have a team or maybe you're, you're working by yourself, you can see how much you're making from e e your email efforts and you can right away say like if it's working or not should you focus on emails or not then that number this number split into two two categories flows which is automatic emails like in active campaign automatic emails and also campaigns so uh, in this case we are making 14 percent from flows from automatic emails which you need to set it up only once and it will be will work 24 seven for you with no extra effort and campaigns. This is what you send manually as a broadcast. So then you go deeper and you can see uh, all automations, all, all automation and how much money each automation brings to you. So let's say as you can see, repeat customers bring zero dollars and we can focus on this automation and see what's why, why is that? Or as you can see, exit in 10 makes uh, most of the money. So we can see what we are doing here. Great. So we can improve other automation. And then we can see on campaigns how much money we made per each campaign. So as you can see, like from the first look, you can see the 
Klaviyo dashboard is more powerful for e-commerce than Active Campaign because Active Campaign gives you a very overall general view, which might not be very helpful for you as a business owner. But on another side, Klaviyo provides the, the most important numbers you need to see. So basically, as a business owner, you you might check only this those numbers and that's it, nothing else. This is the most important numbers for you. Active campaign campaigns versus Klaviyo campaigns. So here we have a like tie, uh, may, may, maybe not, <laughs> but uh, in general, uh, Active campaign and Klaviyo campaign builders are very user friendly. It's drag and drop. The main main differentiation between those that Klaviyo provides dynamic product feed to your emails. So I'll show you example. So this is email example where we have dynamic dynamic block which shows shows a product which person checked on your store but they did not buy it and they did not uh, add it to their cart. So it's called in e-commerce uh, uh, world it's called, called browser abandonment. So you just want to uh, follow up with them, retarget, and tell them, hey, you were checking this product. Would you like to buy it? Or here's a reminder, maybe you forgot to buy it or here's extra discount and just encourage them to buy. So this code, is it works dynamically and you can see how it looks like preview right here. So this is dynamic and for every for everybody, it will look different. Um, in active campaign, unfortunately, you will not able to do that. But in addition to that, let's review how the um, builders work on active campaign and on Clive as well. So let's go to uh, active campaign campaigns and let's do manage templates. And there you will have bunch of different templates, pre-built templates. Let's do new one. Let's do, doesn't matter, like test. Same thing, let's do on the active campaign. Let's go emails, template, create template. It's very similar, uh, it's very similar. Let's do uh, basic. Let's do one column, test, template. Then go here, this is how it looks. Same thing here, they look a little bit different, but the functionality in, in general is the same. So um, text, you have text image, you have the same thing in a Clavio Active Campaign, uh, split, this is, uh, it's, uh, maybe small thing, but in the, you have two columns. This is very hard to do in active campaign, like, like a split you have on active campaign. It's possible to do here and on the active campaign, um, in Clive, it's a little bit more user friendly button. Same thing as a button, button header. You don't have this on active campaigns. Basically, this is like menu for email. If you want, uh, then uh, social links you have on both platform. As I said, text, image, button, uh, social links, then um, social link table. Uh, you do not have that on active campaign table. Uh, honestly, some it's very hard to create something with three columns or more on active campaign so they align correctly uh, because uh, I don't know why but the adjustment is it's weird uh, sorry not make conditional let's do duplicate look so I'll do this way you see it's already off um, duplicate so when I insert third one you see, it's like, uh, uh, so it's it's like very hard to figure out to it. I'm not sure how why they did that. Uh, so it, it, it's 
sometimes I have to play a lot with that to make it look right. Um, and I do not like it personally. In Clavio, you just like if you want extra column, you just add um, and with if you want to do like 10% or something, uh, you it's it's very easy done and rows you just add here either text if you want to text or you add images. So it's very easy to do. So the table thing does not exist in active campaign. Let's do product. The product feed is this, this is the most powerful tool in active uh, in Clavio because you do not need to update your email constantly. Let's say if you do automation, it's, it can be just dynamic. Let's say if you have five products and the fifth, uh, four, five product and one of those products sold out, it will not show in those uh, in people's email because it dynamically updates. So you just select feed of products you want to show. Maybe you want to show just t-shirts, red t-shirts if you sell red and blue t-shirts, or maybe you want to show jeans if you sell jeans. So basically this is very customizable. You can uncheck. I mean, there's a lot of features you can use. You can use um, specific products from your catalog. I do not recommend doing this because this is static. A product feed is dynamic. And on YouTube, I have video how to create product feed in Clavio. Okay, so the next thing, product horizontal line, we have the spacer, we have the drop shadow. Uh, we, I don't think we have that, but it's not big thing. Uh, then um, saved blocks we have on both saved blocks um, also add columns this is also very powerful because on active campaigns again you do not have this so here you have different kind of splits um, okay so video by the way you have video here uh, where you can insert video but honestly when you insert link Let's do YouTube, any kind of video. It looks like a video, but honestly, it's a snapshot of the video. So let's do this video and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so one person clicks on this image it will be redirected to YouTube. It it will not play in this in, in email. So this is just letting you know. Video RSS feed can be done here as well as as well as um, in Clavio, but it has to be done through product product feed. If I'm not if I'm not wrong. It, it can be done. I know. I know it can be done 100%. But I'm not sure how you do it. I, I believe through product feed and HTML block. You do not have HTML block here. So if you want to add something, you you do text, and then you do source, and this is your HTML block which you can use. So as a separate block, you don't have it. Okay. So this is difference between Clavio and active campaign in terms of campaign builders or email builders. Active campaign versus Clavio integration. So as active campaign and Clavio, they have a lot of different tools that you can integrate to them. Uh, you can integrate directly or you can integrate through uh, tool like Zapier. So there's not not such a big difference, but active campaign is has many much more integrations because it's um, the active campaign, as I said before, is a tool for other businesses as well, not only in e-commerce. Clavio is uh, focuses only on e-commerce and um, as you can see, all tools they integrate with are e-commerce oriented. 
So like after ship, smile, I O, uh, amazon.com, big commerce task and everything else. So this is the main, like main difference between integration, but honestly, uh, anything you want, uh, both software have open API. So if you need something custom, um, you can easily, your developer can easily do. <music> Part four, both platforms integrate with major platforms like Shopify, Magento, Magento, WooCommerce, BigCommerce. However, how that integration works inside of accounts is different because uh, on active campaign, if you go to specific contact and I will tell you about like a contacts profile later, but if you go to specific contact, there's not much information it uh, there's not much information and the information you can see only is the latest purchase they made uh, which not very helpful uh, on the right side yeah I'll, I'll talk about it later but the idea is um, on Clavio you can see all activities recent past uh, historic transaction activities what site they visited uh, what page they visited what products they purchased when they purchased uh, what they added to their cart what they abandoned and all of those data on active campaign side it's it's very limited and in terms of transaction you can see only the latest one Active campaign versus Clavio opt-in. Here we have a tie because um, Active campaign and Clavio has powerful opt-in because Active campaign and Clavio has similar opt-ins, which uh, opt-in forms which you can embed to your site. Then you can um, use as a pop-up, then slide in. Yeah, so like all those options are very similar on both platform. And here you cannot say that something works better or another, like other. Part six, Clavio Analytics with active campaign reports. On active campaign, what you can see, it's strictly like all information, it's about your emails or deals in pipelines so i'll show you let's go to reports on active campaign side and let's see what we can so we have all emails we send we have open we have click and let's go to specific email and what we can see we can call open clicks forward unsubscribe bounce and revenue and also like, as you can see, it shows revenue generated in the last seven days, which is a good, good indicator um, like for you. But uh, let's say if you know that you want to track only five days, not seven days in active campaign, it's default value on Clavio platform. Uh, you can modify that, that uh, number of days. Uh, then you have like clicks, what links they click, then geo, uh, geo location. <laughs> Geo, then social replies if any unsubscribes email client campaign performance and and the last thing in in terms of campaign reporting you can see all stats uh, and honestly this is uh, useful for uh, like e-commerce owners but there's something like revenue is not tracked and I'm not sure why it's not tracked because like in Clavio, for example, it's by default, there's no way not to track your revenue. <laughs> so this is only one thing, but everything else is, in this report is amazing, which you can also can export and like provide it to your manager or boss, or maybe just use it, use it for yourself. And next you have automation. Uh, automation reports same thing very similar to campaign reporting uh, where where you can see an interaction rate open rate click through rate and all other information uh, then you have something called goal reports this is where where you set up some kind of goals and see how many people started the automation and how many people con uh, like reached your goal uh, this is very 
logical you have to come up with those goals it's not something easily you can do you can create easily but you have to think it through how you will use those goals uh, then contact reports which like contact trends and deal reports it's like overview if you use pipeline as a crm system how many deals you want and how many deals you close how many you con contacted and how many you lost this is not useful for um for e-commerce so let let's go now to clavio and now we go to analytics here you can create as many um, as you want tiles and by default you have business overview campaign overview email overview let's do campaign overview so and here you can easily set like 30 days and you can do by days by week so average weekly open rate average weekly through rate and by the way each tile you can add it add it the way you want and the way if let's say you if you more um, graph person you can do graph if you number person you can do number and as you can see like the reporting is much 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 better uh, that to business overview i believe this is where i like i like to do to see which product sells the most this year or last 30 days and i can easily spot the uh, when a product and let's say i want to cross cross sell that product for somebody who did not buy purchased um, then flow overview this is like uh, automation in clavio uh, automation in clavio oh uh, sorry automation in active campaign but in clavio it's called flow so you can see total revenue in the last 30 days uh, total received emails average daily open rate which is 30 percent which is like very high so uh, daily place order and you can see the difference between those flows which generates the most money um yeah and all of that so as you can see, if we compare Apple to Apple, active campaign reporting versus Clavio Analytics, Clavio Analytics is more powerful, for full and more granular, and you can customize it for your business. You can create those tiles uh, on, and like create custom reports for your company or just use by like default because Act Clavio knows what they what you need and you just check those numbers on monthly basis or quarterly basis to see how your store performs so now let's talk about coupons so there's like one thing you can send one off coupon one off coupon to your entire list let's say Call it new year 2019 and everybody who uses they will get 10 percent off another thing is to use and let's say that coupon expires in january 1st so you should not worry about that coupon but for example if you use in automations you do not want to change often that coupon and also you do not want to keep it static because uh, somebody can share it on public website and you might lose revenue because they will use it and reuse that coupon over and over and over again uh, because it's very common now even i do sometimes type in some store um, name and say coupon codes and i will find a bunch of different coupon codes on the website so um, in automation what you can do you can do dynamic code in clavio it's very easy to do you just click on the coupon codes uh, you type in you add coupon uh, you type in coupon no name prefix uh, what you want like fixed amount percentage off uh, do you want to on entire order select product select collection then do you want w never expire or you want this to expire after they receive it and the beauty of this this feature that you put the code not coupon code the code clavier code in your email and it generates new code for each subscriber so if you issued 50 coupons it, it generates 50 50 coupons but those coupons will be unique to that subscriber on clavier 
uh, on active campaign it's not possible unless you use a tool called revenue conduit uh, with revenue conduit with proper setup you can do it oh they rename it unif uni unific now it's called and pricing and revenue conduit is not very cheap so uh, so 100 orders is 20 dollars per month 500 orders 100 dollars per month and if you have high volume orders it will cost you more much more okay so this is the difference between uh, dynamic coupon in clavio and active campaign <music> Part eight. Now let's talk about active campaign automation and Clavio flows. In general, it's automatic email or responder, which will be triggered on specific activities. So let's say somebody purchased something or they subscribe to your newsletter list or uh, they obtain the uh, exit intent pop up. So based on those trigger, different autoresponders will be triggered. So in active campaign and in Clavio, it's, both platform very similar they are visual flow uh, like um, automation builders where you drag and drop which is easy to understand first it might be a little bit hard but like you can used to it and if you play enough with that you will be able to figure out how to do it so both builders are easy to understand but active active campaign have one tool which called automation maps, which is more powerful than Clive because Clive doesn't have it. It's like bigger picture of your automation and how they integrate it. So as you can see, you click on automation maps, you click active. I mean, you can use not active as well, but those are all automation in this account. And let's say I click on this one. It's bad example. As you can see now, so uh, from this automation, you can see all possible ways where people can go. And if you want to see like what happened next after this automation, you can click here and you can see where people are coming for from and where they're going to. So this is like, I, I love it. And I wish Clavio have this feature because it gives you like overall role pictures okay they up in here they go here and then they move there so it's easier to spot uh, issues and overlaps because sometimes uh, your subscriber will start to receive or uh, emails from both automation and you do not know that uh, in active campaign you can spot it on clavio you it's it's harder to do so this is all the main difference However, on another side, like what, what's a more profitable future on the Cl Clavio side? If you go to flows, create flow, test, create flow. Let's do same thing on uh, automations, on active campaign, create new automations. Uh, let's do start from scratch. Uh, now you have lists, segment, metrics, date, properties. Those are all possible triggers, which are equals to four triggers. On active campaign side, you have much many more triggers, uh, like subscribe to a list, unsubscribe, subscribe form. Um, basic, honestly, uh, all those features are possible in um, Clavio as well, but those are subcategories of triggers. So you have trigger, which is main trigger, and you have subcategory. Um, so, for example, metrics, correct? This is metric and let's say placed order. And here we have make a purchase or we can say checkout started. It's again, it's under um, metrics and here it's a, a, as a different trigger. Okay, so let's do placed order and here let's do make a purchase and you select integration i'm not sure why you do this because um, uh, yeah maybe you have multiple store uh, at at start then the next option what you want to do send email um, do some conditional split wait delay 
um, and everything like all, all other options you also you can update contact information and crm crm is not important for this kind of video uh, so here we have we have something similar we can send email we can update properties we can have time delay or we can have conditional split or trigger split to so basically in general those both of those, those um uh, automation builders are, are are similar and another thing i wish uh, clavio have but they do not what active campaign has is to start an automation or an other automation so basically uh, there's trigger where your context goes to this <coughs> this this action and this action can trigger the another automation or it can stop another automation or it can both start uh, some automation and and other automation so i i believe it's very i mean it's, I, I do not believe i know it's very powerful uh, option in active campaign which clavio doesn't have <laughs> part nine active campaign versus Clavio tags. Clavio does not have tags. So if you used to tags, Clavio does not have this feature. You cannot add any kind of tags uh, to Clavio. However, you can. what you can use is custom fi custom fields uh, the same way as you can use in active campaign. So uh, many people are complaining about that. However, um, all information integrated from your store to active campaign uh, sorry from your e-commerce platform with Clavio that you can pull any kind of information for example uh, as I showed you before sorry I record different kind of video previously so for example if you want to use a uh, new York 2019 coupon code in active campaign if you want to segment those people you need to create a tag and apply to those people who use a new year 2019 coupon code in clavio that information is given so you just create segment and select that information and now you have a list of people who use that code so you do not need uh, tags you just need to think a little bit different with uh, clavio in terms of information you have because people think clavio like tags uh, not having tags is bad thing but i believe it's good thing because uh on active campaign sometimes i check people's account and they have like i don't know like 150 different tags and they probably 80 percent of them 80 percent of tags they don't know what, why they need them or what they are stands for <laughs> Okay, now let's talk about subscriber profile in Active Campaign and Clavio. Let's go first to Active, Com Active Campaign and pick one subscriber. Let's do. Okay, so let's do this person. I just want to compare Apple to Apple, so I use the same account which I'm helping to migrate from Active Campaign to Clavio, and I'll show you. Um, accounts are like profile for the same contact on both platform on Clavio, however you will not see uh, activities in terms of website activities and website activities because uh, people did not receive any kind of emails from Clavio yet because we are still in migration process so this is the person so uh, as you can see here we have uh, i hide it but you have like first name last name email phone number and the address and below you have all the information and on the right side you have recent activities and recent activities those are uh, includes um, campaign we emails we send campaign campaign they open uh, email um, links they clicked on which automations they completed or entered and you can filter by those activities and also as you can see abandonment card and all information there as well and you can see the product they abandoned uh, okay on the left side you can see you're not able to filter you can hide some kind of uh, like hide hide empty fields and you can see uh, all information from there and by the way, this all information w probably was uh, created by Revenue Conduit because it create, Revenue Conduit creates a lot of different extra fields. And this is last product bought. 
uh, as you can see as um, this is workaround which revenue conduit created for active campaign because it this feature was not part of active campaign in the past and as you can see last product last product so you you are able to see only the last product they purchased and here you can see all information uh, for that that customer and here you have you have a task notes and email task notes uh, it's not important because um, it's, this is more important for CRM unless you use active campaign as a customer relation tool as well so you can add some notes let's say if they complain or something and here's the status of, of each order uh, let's see the same thing on, but on the Clavio so on Clavio you have uh, the product uh, sorry the feed of all actions and you can filter by all actions let's say checkout started or uh, product product ordered or or you have all metrics on the right side you can create you can customize this mat matrix but you you have two columns 30 days delta and all time so like what they did in 30 days and what they did in all time so it's like they play six order and um, they place two order in the last 30 days out of those six uh, the revenue fulfilled orders by the way this, uh, as i said before this metric you can customize this is very powerful tool which active campaign does not have this is machine learning so basically it predicts how many orders this person will make again so it looks at this person most likely will make at least two order in the future and uh, it predicts that the value of this uh, customer will be $42. Uh, then you will, can see in, in part of which list and segment this person are, then contact information, then any other information uh, from Honestly, I personally do not use this information at all. It's like for me, uh, it's, it, it's not as important. And also there is the other set of information which hide it from here, but you can see under each activity and that information you can use to uh, trigger your automation, to create your emails. So that's why uh, Clive is more powerful because it provides you more detailed information and you can create more custom message for your customer. <music>
you can say between days between uh, 30 day and 45 days so this is how, how power like how deep you can go let's say 30 days and then open it email zero times in the last I don't know like again 30 days and now you can see all those people so th th this kind of segment you're not able to create in active campaign uh, you can just create uh, overall so they uh, op has not opened any campaigns overall let's say you want to say placed order e-commerce total revenue has made the purchase and you see like it has, like it just has one generic thing like has made a purchase like what kind of purchase um, here in active campaign you can like uh oh, sorry in the clavio you can do more place order at least one and you filter by let's say item and now you say like which item you want to filter by uh, so Clavio is more powerful in, ter in terms of segmentation and the segmentation you can use um, to define what kind of message to send to your customers. And now let's talk about pricing. Honestly, if you need tool just to send emails to your customers, uh, Clavio is losing here because Clavio is more expensive th than Active Campaign or any other software. However, if you want to make money with your emails, Clavio it's a good investment because the return on investment is much higher than any other tool. So you don't have to look like how much you pay monthly, but how much you need to compare how much you're paying and how much you're making versus just what's a monthly subscription if we uh, compare apple to apple uh, clavio is more expensive than active campaign uh, the first i think it's um, lo looks the same but when you uh, have more and more subscriber it 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 is a little bit more expensive however if you do proper cleaning less cleaning less hygiene and i wrote uh, blog post about that also i posted some videos about uh, like list hygiene uh, if you keep your list engaged it will be smaller but it will be more active and people will buy more from you so we are done those are 12 parts comparing active campaign and clavio as you can see in the video i created a blog post as well so you can go to email marketing nyc slash blog and find that article which called active campaign versus clavio <laughs> different name than this video because it's clavio versus active campaign doesn't matter so you can search and also uh, if you like this video and you want to subscribe to clavio please use my affiliation link, which is emailmarketingnyc.com slash Clavio. I will receive commissions from Clavio because I'm their affiliated partner. And if you have any additional questions, please leave them below this video. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel because we're releasing daily Clavio tutorials how to use them like other like tips and tricks how to like better how to improve your Clavio skills. It was Andrew from Email Marketing and YC. Thank you. Bye.